When wasn't it difficult? The day before my accident. It's kind of hard to speak to camera when you're not feeling all flamboyant and bouncy and, you know, feeling yourself. But the reality is the last few months have been, well, since my accident, things have been pretty rough. But the last couple of weeks, have things have been even rougher than normal because I'm having severe spasming, shooting, stabbing pains in my right leg, which was the leg that took all my weight bearing for all those months after my accident and basically I've overdone it on my right leg and I mean this is undiagnosed I've got an appointment with my GP next week but I I'm in a lot of pain I've been in bed all day I've been lying it doesn't matter how I lie I'm in pain if I sit I'm in pain in my hip where I broke my hip and in my other leg I'm in pain when I exercise, I'm in pain, I'm in pain all the time and to open up in front of a camera is, doesn't come naturally but I, yeah, that's the reality, some days you spend all day in bed feeling miserable and struggling when You'd much rather be out by the pool swimming or lying in the sun and enjoying Australia Day, but sometimes you just can't do those things and it's okay. So I guess you could say that the raw reality of someone suffering from chronic pain is pretty much this. And apparently we were reading the statistics, one in five people struggle with chronic pain. That's true. One in five people in Australia suffer from chronic pain. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the guy next to me is Nick, but he doesn't want to show his face on camera. He's going to be aloof. Exactly. He's going to be like Norma from Suits and Vera from Cheers and Maris from Frasier. You'll never see his face, but you'll hear all about him. So I guess I want to say thanks for enduring this video. But you came here for the honest truth and I'll give you nothing but the honest truth no matter how difficult it is because I think it'll bring me healing to talk about it and share it and that's what I started this channel for and when the people I love are telling me that I need to do it and that it will be good then I can't listen to them. And I think you've realised now that it's not enough at this point and either you have to change what you're doing or change how you're thinking or even changing meds or going back to a pain specialist it's that realization that um the year i've given myself to when you give get yourself, over it isn't enough when you give yourself a time limit a deadline um, an ultimatum it's not going to it's not going to be conducive to a positive and lasting um, progress towards something good. Um, you've placed a time constraint on when you're going to get better. It's good to the point where it motivates, but it's an unreal expectation because no one can predict anything like that. The professional doctors who've done that the entire life, they couldn't even say. They couldn't say, yeah. And, and I, I think, think it's difficult. It a bit. I think I'm finding it difficult now to um, accept it because maybe I, I thought my life would be very different. I was always so active. I could sit at a desk. I could sit at a school desk. No, but what I'm saying is I can't go to the movies because by the end of the movie I'm in so much pain from just sitting there for an hour and a half. It's not worth going. Do you want to go to the movies? That's besides the point. Is it? Yeah. Because it represents anything that involves sitting. Go to a restaurant. You are. Having dinner with a family at the are, dining room table is painful. Going for a run, I'm in agony afterwards. I want to run, and that's one of my favorite things to do. I couldn't, you can't use that as a measure for how you should be feeling right now. Because you can't change what happened. You can accept what happened. Because there's no changing it. 
So I just wanted to say thanks for watching the video. Um, it obviously wasn't the best quality. It obviously wasn't. I want to be authentic and I want to be honest and I want to, you know, tell it like it is. And I live with pain and there's a whole big story behind it and i will do more videos and i will you know elaborate on it involve you guys in my life and involve you guys in the positive things of life because i mean life is amazing and life is wonderful i will end this off on a positive note i want to treat my life like it's the gift that it really is so because i can i'm going to take my little dog for a walk around the neighborhood Go away.